So you have to excuse any scratchier than usual camera work. I'm constrained by the mains charging cable at the minute, but um, my batteries are on their last legs. So I'm debating whether to put new cells in the old packs or um, save up and look to a another camera but uh, it's choosing the right one so we should have three North American ones in here so I'll get them out of the uh, boring bubble wrap bit off cam I just stopped filming and got me lights set up to have a rejig because uh, I've moved some of my items around my computer monitors now floating in the air as opposed to being on the table give me a bit more room which has also meant I've lost my area to which I can uh, mount the light. So first one of three of this guy, excuse me hands, uh, was a four bay hopper made by Tyco. Fairly basic moulded details um, but good enough. I did wonder if it was a little bit damaged. It was only I think $3.99 or $4.99. I noticed some bowing on the walkway but it looks like the, it's not broken, it's just a little bit of warping. So a little tack of glue will pull that back into, sh into shape. Still got the brake wheel. One of these couplings, I think it's had a modification. It's got the all-in-one KD box glued on, I think, when they wrapped it and pulled the bubble wrap tight and put the tape around. It's just brick loose of its glue, so that one needs just reattaching. But uh, that was sort of just because it was a Kellogg's one, a bit different from the Hornby one, isn't it? <coughs> but uh, that caught me eye. This one, again, was another little cheapy. I think this was the 399 one. Slightly smaller. I think this is a, a three bay hopper car. Again, everything's still there, reasonable weight. Got the uh, brake piston detail and such like KD couplings. Oh, Purchase this with a view, possibly to respraying it and just bringing it into something that's more recent looking. Um, but the problem over here is obviously availability of any kind of decal panels to the data plates and branding names or anything like that. Um, I would like a, like a Norfolk and Southern stencil that I could put on my cool cars and then just you know blow over with some white paint and have the N and S logo. But nothing's available. Any decal packs are obviously eBay US and the postage basically crucifies any point in buying them. Uh, this one caught my eye, which was the first one. I bought from this guy before. Again, I think this has received a little bit of uh, overzealous packaging damage. The box looked quite good condition, well packed with all the bubble wrap. But you do have the fine wire detail here. This one had become dislodged and caught under the wheel truck, which you can't see very well, but um, I have managed to straighten it to a degree and get it to sit back where it's supposed to be, so it just needs a little bit more a little bit more convincing and a dab of glue. Um, and there's a couple of little the struts on the stairs, on the steps there have uh, got pushed. They were both in the same direction, so I guess I grabbed hold of it and pushed them. Um, again they're probably brass just attached in with a tiny little bit of glue which is just brick glue so nothing major there was a little piece of detail floating about in the bag which I thought might be something broken off but it's actually the nasty plastic couplings it's just brick the uh, front of that off which I obviously I've got a few Chinese copies of the Backman Easy coupling which seem to work um, although the shafts are a bit long. Well, I've got some KDs as well, so I don't know what ones these are equivalent to, but they look quite a short shaft, so I'll have to have a rummage when I need to rectify that one, but that's got nice detail on it. Our camera won't pull out that small data panel, but under a magnifying glass it's fairly legible. So that's the offering so far. There's a little bit more inbound which will probably be tagged on this video. As you can recall from last week's video, I think it was, um, I ordered these um, 
raised platformed with the uh, control relay boxes and I actually ordered the double one and by accident got sent an extra handed opposite one to uh, what I'd ordered. I'd ordered the double one which looks like this. Um, he did true to his word uh, it turned up Monday I think it was although I did rescue it as she was then shoving it through the letterbox I thought oh god if that's what I think it is um, luckily it was unscathed it didn't get any damage like the previous ones so that's the double one with the extra cabinets against the single one so it should make a interesting little scene when they're painted up and grubbied up in a busy junction say somewhere with some signalling and probably on a bankment coming into it somewhere where they'll be raised to keep them out of the mud and rain so we've, we've gained an extra one so they'll be um, just looking for getting my room for me spray proof and I was going to uh, just give them a blow over with some grey primer and uh, not sure whether these would have been painted or galvanised probably galvanised I guess so I might uh, I have got one silver paint but I wouldn't want to spray these with it and then find it's crap because um, I've had some not good experiences with silver if metallic -y effect paints but uh, yeah we'll put some primer on them first obviously the handrails can be high vis yellow or not but I'll, I'll have a look to see what um, what they're actually done in because whenever I've done this type of railing it is usually just left its natural galvanised tubular form um, but it may be yellow being that it's network rail although it would be British rail in my time period but uh, they weren't quite so keen on high vis yellow on everything so we'll see a little bit of investigation there for future well what have we today wooden Aldi, Aldi grocery set well at least it won't go out of date no well, we managed to acquire a few packs of obviously someone's failed project or given up. Or the other ways that job lots come in. <clears throat> so someone obviously had a big plan. <laughs> and uh, was planning on building a warehouse maybe. Corrugated box steel. So this is uh, not the... More like the stuff I'm putting on my roof of my garage project. The uh, If you remember the pike stuff sheets this is more like the modern industrial cladding rather than the old style corrugated round profile got a bit of a curve to it Mr Wills a bit hot off the press was it so yeah obviously someone had a bit of a plan now as you know I want to build a few warehouses raw mail depot including so an industrial area with industrial units and someone happened to come along and <laughs> advertise eight packs um, I don't know where they bought them from with that price coding on them but they were £3.55 when they bought them uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to find them under £4.50 now and I managed to get all of them for, well, with the postage, it was £13.48. Um, it was, I would have got it a little bit cheaper had someone else not arrived at the party, shall we say. But, um, yeah, bit of a bargain-ish. So, scratch building industrial warehouses will be in my future at some stage. 